does it feel watching the Taliban get to loot all the stuff you fantasize about? Do you feel silly? Do you feel stupid? Hi, my name is Chad Smith. I'm with a, uh, well, I can't really say what unit we're with, but we're here on the invasion of Granada uh, to liberate and bring free elections to the people of Granada because liberty is the best thing you can ever have. Truthfully, I have no idea why I'm here. They just sent me here with my M16, and I love her because she's a better than a beauty queen. Something democracy. What was it? So freedom, democracy, um, fruit companies, I don't know. But we're gonna rock on. Gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, the Ambiguous Narrator. Today we're going over the M16. Now, the M16 is one of my favorite fighting rifles, mainly because I am a red-blooded American and this gun goes hard in the paint. Now, before we dive any further in this video, a quick word from our sponsor. Gentlemen, this video is going to be sponsored by Apex Gun Parts. For all your Apex Gun Gun Parts needs, head on over to Apex Gun Parts. Let them know that Adma Results sent you. We are the best of buds. The worst of buds. And they will hook it up most likely if you let them know that I sent you their way. They also want me to let you know that they are now carrying nylon products such as Haley Strategic. We all love the Clone Father as well as Parachuter Gear. Purpose Driven Chest Rigs for AK Stuff. Good nylon products over at Apex Gun Parts. Diving into the video, the M16 to me is a iconic American firearm it is you know when we think of the m16 we think of it typically being used by good guys in harm's way you know of course bad guys can pick up these guns and use them but still it's it's always pictured as the good guy gun that's it is the counter to that is the bad guy gun is always seen as the ak-47 the akm platform you know the opposition forces now the m16 to me is it's it should be in the safe of every gun guy to some capacity i say that ironically as an i don't own an m16 i plan on getting one i'm torn if i want to do you know the a1 vietnam era looking m16 or a more modern m16 a4 where i can mount you know say a optic to the top now that's where i personally am kind of torn on living in the Southwest, it is it is advantageous to have a weapon with a magnified optic as well as good ballistics out to range. The reason being is that living in the desert, there's not a lot of cover and concealment, so there's a lot of open air, and you can see for a good battle of distance. Now, what we see more so the trend in gun culture, uh, especially with younger guys and or you know, you know, it, the, the M16 is like I would say is more connected to the old guy crowd. We see more old guys rocking M16s with the retro platform. Now, more young guys typically lean towards the sleek SBR build you know that 10 3 10 5 and i'm guilty of this with my blood diamond carbine but yet again that's like a retro purpose you know built uh, larp gun right but we see a lot of young guys typically going towards you know building out sbrs that are the door kicker home defense type of gun which is good i think for home defense if i'm being de like when i want to work a gun inside you know a 20 inch platform indoors isn't the most ideal setup it's doable i mean we can ask the marines and fallujah that were going door to door in rock and world i mean ideally i'm sure they would have wanted something shorter in that scenario but you can still absolutely rock someone's world it's just going to be maybe more of a hassle now say a suppressed 10 3 indoors does that sound more enjoyable absolutely when you start pushing out to range and you want to hit a more effective target with a more effective round and ballistics at distance then yeah 20 inch m16 with the right ammo and load is going to be more your speed running this particular m16 featured in this video with a ready mag and a2 handguards with a heavy barrel and what i would believe to be the cc 
7 up or this gun is on loan to me from a buddy of mine, I noticed that you can still push the gun pretty hard even if it's that long 20 inch platform. Now, I prefer personally the M16A1 stock over the M16A2 stock, the A1 stock being shorter than the A2. So to me, I like being able to get on the gun a little bit more in that regards. And I think if I had more training and time on the platform, you can really push the gun hard and fast, you know, go figure. But ultimately what it boils down to is time and cost of ammunition and the such, right? Now, if you're wondering, and I know you're not, but what is my dream M16 setup? Well, to be honest, my dream M16 setup would probably be the rifle from Predator the one that Arnold Schwarzenegger uses with the M203 grenade launcher attached and that just iconic heat guard of on the barrel uh, that the M16s had with the grenade launcher setup, that thing just hits different, right? And it has the retro carry handle uh, looking like the A1 style carry handle and it just, oof, it just hits hard. So if I could have any M16, it would be that one. Gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Leave a comment in the comment section down below. Your comments are a sacrifice to the algorithm God, a God who is tacky yet angry. I know it's YouTube and cheesy. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, Patreon's an excellent way to support the channel as well as merchandise. Rolling out some new merchandise as we speak, so it helps the channel in any way, shape, or form.